Brought to you by the Grand Theater. This month, see the National Arts Center Orchestra. Visit www.kingsandgrand.ca for more details. This is Jason Erb from the Gertrudes. <laughs> this is Andy Clifford from the Gertrudes. I'm Pete Bowers. I'm Amanda Valses. And I guess I, I guess I'm supposed to say I'm drumming in the Gertrudes. Yeah, I sing and play violin in the Gertrudes. And write songs. And write songs. Hey, I'm Greg. I play guitar and sing for the Gertrudes. Annie had a dream and <laughs> that uh, a bunch of friends of hers were playing in some sort of band. And then she told her now husband, Greg, um, who also plays in the band, about this dream. And it all came to fruition uh, shortly I, I, after. I think. As they, I recall, Greg just said, well, let's go find them then. So everybody that was in the dream, he went and got. I dreamed that we were playing, me and a bunch of other people who are currently in the lineup. It's changed a lot over the years. We're playing at the stage of the Marquee Club in Halifax, which was closed at the time of the dream. And we were playing a cover of uh, Wilco's Heavy Metal Drummer. And we sounded amazing. And um, so I woke up and I told my boyfriend at the time, Greg Tilson. So after the dream, um, we, we started uh, jamming. And that was a result of uh, a weekly gig at the Grad Club. And, I should point out that the Queen's Grad Club is very much at the heart of this music scene. There's so many bands that have come out of that open mic Grad Club, so that should be noted. And in particular, we just did a weekly show there with it ranged from, you know, much like it is now, like 10 to 20 people, and it was called the Backyard Sex Band. And it was just people that got together every week for a big potluck, and they learned like three songs. And then we all like marched down Barry Street into the Grad Club and we ran that open mic every week. And so a lot of different music projects came out of that. One of them was the Gertrudes. Well, I mean, the beauty of playing with so many people in the band is that there's just infinite number of ideas. And uh, so there's all kinds of different disagreements. And I think that the more, you know, the more those sparks fly, the better the songs are, the better the performances are. So I love it. I love it. You know, like I would be so lonely on, on stage, you know, like to have, you know, 14 of the best musicians in Kingston, like all coming together to make music. It's awesome. We have a pretty good group dynamic in terms of we're not afraid to tell each other when something sucks, but we also try out every idea, which is, it, it, that's unlike any other band I've been in, and they're, you know, like natural leaders emerge like always, but it, it's, as far as groups of people working together, it's the, it's the most functional group of people I've ever worked with. Talk softly. Our favorite shows are the ones we play in Kingston, just because we get to play for our friends and our families. And I don't know, we're kind of hicks. We like being at home. Oh, we like it all, man. Like this is this is a treat. This is a big deal to be playing the Sleepless Goat Cafe. Like a third of us worked here, and like you know, the other two thirds of us practically live here. And so to be playing in this space, like this is this is where it's at for sure. Yeah. Well, one of our first gigs was here, and. Uh, you know, like, P.S. I love you, like, they work here, you know, like, it, there's a lot of amazing things that come out of this cafe in the arts in general, not just music. I always like to say that when people always ask me about this band, I always like to say that I don't, it doesn't matter what sort of music you're interested in. I, I really think that everyone can sort of access something that, um, resonates with them with this band well, that, yeah, we, and uh, that's well, sort of a, that's a really exciting project to be a part of what, and yeah so it's kind of like an alternative side but then kids have a blast at the shows like we all, a bunch of us have kids that come to the shows at festivals and kids are dancing around but you're also kind of playing to an alternative scene at the same time so I, I, I agree that's a that's a neat thing to be able to do well I think we all need to create something that's like, you know, the artistic impulse. So that's that's what I'm in it for. And, and we all get different things out of it. I'm I really love making recordings. Well I love playing live too. Everybody I don't know. We're a big family. We love 
We actually love traveling together and doing things together, baking cookies together, snuggling together, you know, skinny dipping together, uh, etc. <laughs> I'm making I'm making things sound much worse than they are. We're really very polite and uh, law-abiding citizens, but uh, yeah, we like each other. <laughs>